This is Savita Balsang and welcome to Statistics Made Simple. In this video, Statistical Quality Control Part 2, I will define certain terminologies and we will learn about the three sigma control limits and how a typical control chart looks like. Some of the important terminologies required under this topic. First is variable. A quantitative characteristic that varies from unit to unit is called a variable. For example, height, weight, length, marks, age, etc. You know that each of these are quantitative in nature and they can be expressed in specific units of measurement. Next is an attribute. A qualitative characteristic that varies from person to person is called as an attribute. You know that quality characteristics cannot be measured numerically and you cannot express them in any unit of measurement. For example, honesty, poverty, success, intelligence, beauty, emotions, etc. more important terms are defect and defective. A defect is a quality characteristic which does not conform to specifications whereas a defective is an item having one or more defects. Let us take a few examples. A printing mistake in a page in a book is a defect which makes the book defective. Misprints in a bale of cloth is a defect which makes the bale of cloth defective. Similarly, air bubbles in a glass bottle is a defect which makes the glass bottle defective. When we learn the normal distribution, we are aware that it has two parameters mu and sigma square, where mu is the mean of the normal distribution and sigma square is its variance. We will also be learning that from the area property of the normal distribution, probability of mu minus 3 sigma less than x less than mu plus 3 sigma is equal to 0 0.9973 that is 99.73 percent of the observations lie within 3 sigma limits and only 0.27 percent of observations lie outside these limits. So while constructing control charts the control limits so obtained are called as 3 sigma limits. When the manufacturing process is in control then 99.73 percent of observations will fall within these 3 sigma limits. What are control charts? A control chart is a graphical device which is used to study and verify whether the production process is in statistical control or not. The techniques of control charts were first developed by Dr. Walter A. Shivott and control charts detect variations due to assignable causes in a production process. A control chart consists of three horizontal lines, the central line, upper control limit and lower control limit which are abbreviated as CL, UCL and LCL respectively. The CL is drawn as a thick dark line, UCL and LCL are drawn as dotted lines and UCL and LCL are called as the three sigma control limits. A typical control chart is as shown below. On the x-axis, we have the subgroup or the sample number and on the y-axis, we have the quality characteristic which are the averages. The central line is drawn as a thick dark line and the UCL and LCL are drawn as dotted lines. The control limits are set at plus or minus 3 standard deviations that is plus or minus 3 sigma of whatever is being plotted. The central line indicates the average quality level. UCL is the maximum allowable variation from the average quality level of the process and LCL is the minimum allowable variation from the average quality level of the process. Thank you all for watching and in my next video we will learn about control chart for variables and in specific the control chart for the mean and control chart for the range which are the x bar and r charts.